Oh, welcome back. A while ago, you may remember I did a video on uh, a a, uh, a little soldering station by AU for repairing 3D parts. I don't recommend doing this by far, but I, I've been using it for a micro solder, actually doing real soldering with it. The tips are not made for that, and it, it barely has enough power to do that, and if you have any kind of thick copper or ground plane on the PCB board. And again, I wasn't using the production model for that. I was using the beta model for that. So since it was a beta, I didn't expect it to last long. It actually surprised me. It lasted longer than I expected, but it did finally die. Uh, betas aren't made to last and, and the casing actually broke on it. I didn't think I'd miss it too much. I went back to my normal size soldering iron thinking no big deal and before I knew it I was actually missing that really small J hook tip the, the really small soldering iron so to eBay I went and there's not too many options when it comes to finding an actual micro soldering station you have your JBC you have your Heiko and they're all way out of my price range so uh, I was hoping I could find something on eBay that would uh, basically maybe win win a good bid on a good auction and I just happened to win a good auction now I haven't seen the actual pictures of this yet the pictures on the auction he, he sold several of these units previously they're the same pictures as the other ones so I don't know what kind of condition this is in you're going to be taking a look for the first time as well as me and let's go ahead and take a look at it one of the soldering stations that actually have the option for a uh, a micro soldering tip is the Heiko 951 and that's what I bid on was the 951 and I won the 951 auction, as you can see. I also reached out to him and said, do you happen to have the micro soldering FM2032 upgrade kit? And he did. Not only that, he had a few of the tips that I was looking for as well. So all together, for I, I believe, I don't remember, I think, the 2032, the FM2032 upgrade micro sleeve may actually be new. The J tip may be used. The Heiko 951 is slightly used. So it's a mix of, of used and new things. He threw a few, few, a few free things in there. The free things need cleaned, and I don't mind a little bit of elbow grease, like I told him. I can clean that up, not an issue. So if you see some dirty parts, that that's acceptable. I agreed to that. Basically, these guys, the green, oh wow. There's another green one in here. Okay, let's start with the 951. So what do we have here? They're not, you know what, they're not bad. For supposedly being dirty, they're not bad at all. These are brand new. Look at that. And these aren't really that dirty at all. And this, this is the uh, D, D16 chisel tip. For, for a used tip, I can't complain about that. It cost me one third the price. That's in great condition. And I wasn't expecting new tips for the other ones that I ordered. This is the T15IL. And this is the T15BCF2. These are actually brand new, completely unexpected. I thought all of this was gonna be used stuff. That's amazing. The 951 I bid on was supposed to be used. Looking at this, if that if the station is used, then none of the accessories were used because this this is the cable for the sleep station. This is the heat resistant pad. This is the key, the original sleeve. That's not used. To, that hasn't even been opened power cable it's been used but hardly 
actually, uh, I'll, I'll change Harley to no no signs of wear at all. And here's the 951 itself. It's been slightly used. Some scratches. Yeah. I, I, I don't see it. I really don't see it. It's got the updated board with the... Uh, the stronger update. I think this update was done a few years back. Hiccup made a change on the 951. This foot apparently was too weak when people were switching these in and out. Uh, this would break. So if it has the updated board, then it most likely has the updated firmware. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't see any scratches. Do you see scratches on this? I mean, I there's a little bit of. You know, Maybe, maybe this is some sort of manufacturing defect within the molding. That's what it looks like to me. Because you can actually see the... Okay, let me take a closer look here. You see how you can see the, the, the inside of the molding track where things are supposed to go? This looks like it's, it was almost some sort of a manufacturing defect. Not used. I think I may have gotten a really good deal on this. The 2027 sleeve, really perfect condition. So this is my first, what I would say, semi-pro soldering station. Couldn't afford it new. That is a good, wow, that is a, that really is a neat feel that's, that's gonna be, it's gonna be some getting used to, but in a good way. In a really good way. If I if I loosen this up, so flexible, so light in the hand. This isn't even the micro tip. This is this is your normal 2027 here. So the original bid on the auction was for the 951 with the 2027 T15 D18 heating element, and that came with to have a stand with that. Oh, here's the tip holder. Oh, that's solid. I thought that was plastic. That's some sort of metal. If this is used. I'll be surprised. I mean, you usually see all sorts of solder and splash and... That's unreal. That's brand new. So is this. Hasn't even been opened. <laughs> Neither is this. Uh, apparently I can't get the plastic out correctly where it's supposed to, so I'm going to work it around inside because it ripped from the inside. There's a really nice fit in there. Really nice tight fit. <clears throat> yeah, I can't, I, 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 I can't believe this. I really can't. So this was the original bit, right here, for $150. Oh, well, I might as well open it up, because eventually I'm gonna have to open it up anyway. I have a few of these already, but this actually seems like it's a slightly different material and it's got a better grip. It's got more matte finish grip to it. I like this, so you can't lose this card, so you can attach it to something. And it's not a permanent attach either. It looks like you can attach it and take it off as well. I think I'll leave the card as is. We'll just put this piece on here in case I ever want to have something to hang the card from. So we'll just clip it on the very end here. There we go. This is a basic tip ring ring sleeve audio cable. It's a stereo audio cable. one eighth headphone jack. That's all it is. Nothing special to that at all. Your micro switch, as a matter of fact, I've seen the teardown of this. Nothing special here either. It's just a weighted mechanism that pushes against a micro switch. This doesn't even lock into place unless you have the actual key. He threw these in at no cost. I didn't ask him to. I asked him how much he would sell them for and if he could add those. So that was nice. Two of them, he said, are dirty. Well, he said, he said I'll throw some of these in. They're dirty. You might have to clean them up. Uh, I'm thinking they were like really really dirty so I actually have a set of these on order brand new from T equipment these are barely dirty these are barely used and two of them are new 
let's check the heating element real quick. So if you ever buy a used HACO or anything with a used heating element, the one thing you're looking for, according to HACO specs, is the actual resistance of the heating element, which should be at eight ohms. And that'll give me an idea of how old the heating element is, how much has been used. Real easy thing to check. You can check between the two connections here. 8.16. This heating element was barely used at all. So we'll slip the heating element into the sleeve. We have to press this. Ah, press that down. It clicks. Perfect. Take this. Slide this into here, just enough weight to put it into sleep mode. That's it. And I believe they're supposed to go facing up like this, so that way it's the heat radiating up. This is why I wanted the extra sleeves here. Then I ordered these, which is the T15 BCF2 and the T15 IL. And I actually thought these were coming used as well. Looks like these are coming brand new. Same kind of test on your uh, the resistance on them will tell you. There's this slight tint where you can tell they've been heated up once at the factory. They do that on the way out the door to make sure they work before they put it into the packaging. Comparing the used one he sent me here, which came out at, uh, what was that, 8.16 ohms, I believe. Let's compare that used one to what a new one comes at. So we'll compare that used one to a new one. You know what, actually, I'm going to do this first. There we go. Forgot to calculate the resistance of of my leads. 8.06 ohms. Eight point one one ohms. Eight point one one. So eight point one one versus eight point one being new and 8.04, all within HACO specs. So here's a comparison to a normal one. It just feels completely different, it really does. It's just really hard to explain. You, you really need to just put one in your hand to, to feel it. That's the only thing I can, that's the only thing I can really say. And you can adjust the angle of this with a, a simple Phillips, just to adjust this a little bit, not much. So you can actually raise this at a slightly higher angle, like so. Still has enough weight to activate the micro switch. You don't want the heat going straight up it, you want it at a slight angle still. Or you could even work it down further. Well, you don't want to go get too far because then it's going to fall out which isn't that bad, except it's still a little, it does have a little safety bar back here, a little catch bar, which is nice. So if you do happen to miss going in, it is still, we'll, we'll grab, hopefully you'll still hit that, that bar and it will save it. It actually matches this line. I like the way that feels when I'm tightening it down. There it is. So in the next box here, we have the Heiko 2032 upgrade kit for the FX951. Again, this looks brand new. What is the difference between the stands? Really? Just this yellow piece. That's the only difference is the diameter. You can buy this separate. Look at the size of that J tip. Oh, wow. Again, comes with your tip ring ring sleeve, kind of audio one eighth headphone jack, comes with a sponge, and of course your heat resistant pad, which I already have one from this guy as well, so we're gonna put that back. I ordered the T30J tip to go with this. And it looks like we have some slight tuning to do here, because I know for a fact this should be active in its position Okay, let's take a look at this one as an example. So if we take a look at this one, when you, when you put the tip in, it feels the weight of this. Click, 
click, click. This one is backwards. It's already enabled. It's already clicked. So maybe it's just a screw thing. Ooh, look how small that is. This is going to be really neat. All right. Um, I'm going to have to mess with the screws. I also want to check the settings. It gets us over to Celsius. Thanks for watching. And keep on tinkering. Stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe. And all that good stuff.